Hey guys, I'm here with Charlie and we are having a focus session and I am layering some commands that he's learned over the past few days all together. So I'm having him sit and pause on command and wait yes. to get on the place bed since the uh, yesterday he was flying on there at a million miles an hour. Um, wasn't even waiting for the command. Then once he's on the place bed, I have him go into a down. And this is our second session of the day, so I'm adding some distraction by movement around the bed. Um, and then I'll have him break. So I'm combining the commands sit, down, and place. And we just do a ton of reps over and over and over again. Um, we add some distraction. We are adding some duration in here now. Um, this is the third day he is with us. So he's doing really well, actually. This guy is super smart. Um, He's doing really well with the down command that he just learned yesterday. Um, he breaks a couple times, but with a simple verbal correction, he goes right back into the down. So I know he's understanding everything that I'm telling him. Um, so I hope you enjoy uh, this focus session. I sped it up a little bit just because it gets to be so long with all this duration that I'm um, adding. And there you see Amelia in the back. She's doing really well on place. Um, Every now and then I'll walk by and treat her to let her know she's doing the right thing. Um, there's one time that she breaks and I have to give it to her. It was very confusing because I got hit right here. I yelled uh, break really excited and I meant it for Charlie and um, I didn't use his name. And so she obviously thought it was for her. So I don't think she broke out of brattiness or, you know, rebellion. She, she really did think I was talking to her. So, but she, she's doing amazing. And so is Charlie. Um, we're working, you know, obviously on pausing before the place bed, having him sit, and then I'm moving a little further away and I'm sending him to place from a little further away. And he's just doing a great job. I'm barely having to use any leash guidance at all. Um, and so right now we're just working with the leash and the micro prong. Uh, maybe in two or so more days, we're gonna start to layer in a uh, low level e-collar uh, over the commands that he already knows and that we've been practicing on, which will allow us to eventually drop the leash. And so it creates sort of an invisible leash. You can give commands from across the room and you'll know that Charlie is going to understand what the pressure means and how to turn the pressure off. So enjoy watching the video and thank you guys for watching. Little Charlie.